Hi there, Virgo. This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and you are next for your July 12th through the 31st love reading. This is meant to be a love reading. We'll see what comes up. This is for Virgo, July 10th through the 31st, 2017. Love reading. What do you have for Virgo? Well, I think we'll just see what these are. <laughs> there you are. Isn't that funny? <laughs> that pile just fell out and I could have put it back in, but I didn't. I chose to take it. Queen of Pentacles, that is you, my dear. Worry, worry, worry. Worried about your happily ever after. Is this really, I mean, is this what it is? I mean, there's got to be more to it than this. Look at that. Unexpected choice in love. I think you might be might doing moving on. You might be moving on. You expect there to be challenges, you know, in your search for happily ever after. You know, you might be, uh, you know, you've been worried about it and perhaps you're scared that you're not ever going to find it, you know, the real deal. But it's coming. I think the real deal is, is not far away for you. Look at that. Beautiful so far. I mean, seriously. A lot of dreams going on. Quick, fast energy. New beginnings. <laughs> oh, boy. And, you know, we just had to have that, too. We just, just because you don't want to think it's all peaches and cream because it's definitely not okay so this is pretty amazing because it looks to me like you are about to start a new venture this is July 12th through the 31st okay the first week perhaps you're really focusing on yourself you know you're feeling good about yourself you're feeling confident um, just very grounded okay you're just you're being yourself if you're being a mother right now perhaps you're taking care of yourself quite quite well um uh, but that's i mean you're taking care of yourself very well you're financially stat you're not struggling put it that way doesn't mean you're rich you know or that you have a lot of money in the bank it means that you're not struggling you're feeling really good about yourself this is about the 12th 13th here and then we go from feeling really good about yourself to in the back of your mind you're still very worried you're still very worried about your happily ever after you know you're like hmm you know is this is is this it I mean where is my happily ever after um, and so probably by the end of the the uh, well what is this today's the twelfth around the sixteenth seventeenth. Um, Perhaps you take some kind of action, okay, because, you know, you've decided to make a move and use your power, okay, we all have powers, you start to use your powers, um, and the ships finally start to come in, this is towards the, um, 
what did I say, 16th, 17th? This is probably sooner, okay, the 16th, 17th. I would say that your ships may have already started to come in, all right? They're already headed in your direction, and it's because of the action that you have taken. You have the power. You know you have the power. You can take care of yourself. You're looking for happily ever after. You're not going to sit back and wait for it to come to you, okay? You're going to do what you need to do to get it, Um Then we're moving on throughout the month. So after the 16th, 17th, we move down to this unexpected choice in love. Okay, perhaps um, something comes in that's going to shake up your love life. And it's something that you don't expect. And it will probably have a very big draw to it, okay? It's going gonna, it's gonna to have a, a pull. And you're going to be like... <laughs> You know, I think we've seen this one before for you, where you're going to be like, no, I'm not. That's not it. <laughs> That's not it. Um, but it really probably is it. <laughs> so that's probably the story. Could be another uh, earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Could also be a water sign. Could be a Sagittarius. Um, either way, it looks like whoever this is, it's a new welling of attraction. And the welling of attraction is so big that you can't walk away from it. You can't. Um, and this is a love reading, mind you. So there could be... Um, hold on, somebody's hammering outside. You caught me off guard for a minute. Oh, I see a lot of divine spiritualness here, like a lot of divine guidance, a lot, okay? So I think that you have been becoming more spiritual yourself. I see that you have been, your intuition has been talking to you and you have been listening to it. Um, I, I think that um, the universe is here to to assist you at this time. Um, you're going to be, you're, you're taking, a, you're taking steps to security and abundance. Okay. To security and abundance, um, where you, there's no struggles. All right. God is offering you a, a, um, new foundation all right he's offering you the chance to build a new foundation um and you know or you're there will be challenges building this foundation but it will be very successful okay this new union of whatever it is going to be will be successful um This is going to be towards the <coughs> third week of July. Okay, third, you know, third, yeah, the third week. <laughs> you know, there's definitely some... Um, something to do with another earth sign okay i think that there's another earth sign in the picture for you um and it's it's basically a, what you've dreamed of okay this person is everything you've ever dreamed of okay they offer you the security that you're looking for i see a lot of worry about security here that you know you you need that security um, perhaps from another person, you know, this, this hap, this, um, happily ever after security where, yes, you're going to be together forever. You're looking for that security. You're looking for loyalty. Um, and I think that your the universe is going to give you an op a new opportunity for that. Okay. To build a new foundation based on your dreams of 
happily ever after okay and your intuition is giving you messages right now the universe is communicating with you right now about this are you listening okay are you listening because I think that you are a very spiritual person I can see this that you are very spiritual and that you have been manifesting this you have the power to manifest in a very big way the the universe is offering you this okay was the last reading um labeled gifts i can't remember if that one was yours or not but there's gifts here and this is the 10th through the 31st there's these gifts what are you going to build with it what are you going to build with it you are going to build something with it and it's going to be a victory okay unfortunately you know, you're going to build something. You might build it by yourself for a little while, okay? You might, and what I'm saying is you might be by yourself for a little while. I do see that the universe is probably going to bring you an unexpected choice in love, but, you know, that doesn't mean that you're going to move right in with somebody or whatnot. You might... um You might have to let go of something still. That's what I'm trying to say. You do. Damn it. I just happened to look at the bottom of the deck. Still stuck. No luck. <coughs> All right. Still stuck. You do have to let go of something. So, I mean, that's what's going on here. You're feeling really good about yourself. You can take care of yourself. You know you can. Um, you're looking for happily ever after. Um, you might be taking an escape route to get away from the, uh, <coughs> I'm sorry. You might be using drugs or alcohol or whatnot to escape from any of this depression that you're going through because probably where you're at right now or where you have been at didn't lead to happily ever after. So that's why you have a broken heart down here. Maybe it's not a broken heart. Maybe it's rejection, you know, and it, well, rejection leads to a broken heart. Um, I think it's, I think that you have some regrets, okay? You have some regrets. Perhaps you feel like you've sacrificed a, too much time on somebody, on somebody else that had their own addictions that, and it was never going to be happily ever after so you might have some regrets over that <coughs> but I see a lot of visions and <laughs> you the power to manifest is so big with you what you think, your thoughts become things, okay? Your visions. And, and when you vision it, it really becomes things. And I think your visions are very vivid at this time. I think that you have are envisioning a real happily ever after. I mean, you're envisioning a, envisioning a very happy, comfortable home um, with plenty of security and stability and... That's what I see. Do I see any new love here? <laughs> I see that the universe is going to is going to present you with an attraction, a magnetic attraction to somebody or if if that's not whoever you're with now and you're having regrets about, I mean that could be it that you're having regrets that you had this uh uh you know, attraction, it was kind of like an addiction, could have been like a, a sexual addiction even, and now you might have regrets because it didn't lead to happily ever after, you know, so now you're envisioning a new happily ever after, and you're really following your intuition, and you're making a move, and I think you're making moves fairly quickly, but you are still stuck. Okay, you're still stuck. Could be that you're physically stuck with this person. Maybe you can't get rid of them. You know, that's what I, that could be it. Um, but the seeds have been planted, okay? So rest assured that eventually 
this person will move on and, and move move away because I see that you know the seeds have been planted it's time for you to grow something new based on your dreams of happily ever after could be with another earth sign that's what I see so far or a water sign we also have the Sagittarius here here at the bottom of the deck we see that you are still stuck you are definitely still stuck could be mentally could be physically I think you know for a lot of you this could have already happened and you've started this but a lot of you are still stuck but you, you won't be for long because you're gonna take action you can take care of yourself just fine and you know that and the universe knows that that's why they sh they present this unexpected um, choice in love Maybe it's that maybe it's the choice to seriously either to stay or not stay. It's an unexpected choice in love. It's usually to me means a new person that you don't expect, a new person that you would never be attracted to, ever. All of a sudden they've they've um, stepped into your area, and it's woo magnetic. That's what this is. Like I said, it could have been in the past, but I. This could be coming in. I think it's coming in. I think it's somebody new. But it could be somebody from the past. Because, you know, this is such... This is for such a wide range of people. You know? And by the time some of these people watch this, it definitely could have already happened. Okay, I, this is a very fast moving thing. You aren't sitting around. <laughs> I don't see it happening. You're not going to sit down and you, you are going to take control of this situation or you already have. Yeah, this makes sense. finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now maybe if that's one of the reasons you're still stuck maybe somebody can't move because they don't have the money or they can't find a place or who knows there's all kinds of excuses okay and it's gonna and when somebody when you you know, leave somebody if that's the case. There's definitely financial aspects to it. Okay? I don't know. This could also mean that this unexpected choice in love, you might meet them at work. Okay? You might meet them through your job. You might already know who it is. Ooh, see, I've been trying to tell you this. I've been saying, I've said it a couple times. In other words, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations, absolutely. Yeah, it definitely, this person is not what you think. You may be like, mm-mm, no. Keep an open mind. It's right over happily ever after. Oh, this is definitely an issue. I see it. <coughs> I see that maybe, I mean, there's so many different kinds of addictions. Mine's smoking, if you could not tell. Um, everybody has them. Everybody has an addiction, pretty much. And if they don't, they're in denial. I mean, it could be food, could be anything. Anything. In this case right here, I think it's drugs or alcohol. You know, escape, a way to escape. Let's, let's, let's just drink the worries away. I'm just guessing here. I don't know. It could be anything, but it could be food. We hide our, we hide our problems with food. You know, it could be any kind. It could be shopping, you know, retail therapy. You know, it's an addiction. Codes, codependence. <laughs> Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romance life. Your romantic life. I'm sorry. When I do these readings, I can't speak. In my regular home life, I can speak just fine. 
for some reason I hit record and the words will not come out and whatever it is what it is so you know what that means you have the power to overcome it just so you know you're being offered a brand new gift, like I told you before, a gift to do whatever you want to do. So whatever is holding you back, okay, whatever is, is you know, masking the pain that you have to make a move, you need to pull out your strength, pull out your own magic, and do it. You can't escape forever. There will be challenges. But the new opportunity is here for your dreams to come to fruition. The opportunity is here right now. Right now. Should you choose to act. Which I think you are going to do. <laughs> And on the bottom of this deck, free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Well, yes, it is. It has been. And I think some of you have already done it. And some of you are contemplating on how to do it. And some of you are waiting for somebody to get the hell out. Okay? And they just, there's, there's a million excuses why they can't. There is. You know? And you may, you know, some of you might say, oh, it's not an excuse. They really can't. Well, I'm telling you what. I kicked my 18-year-old son out with nothing. He had nothing. He is now has an apartment. They're buying a house. He was 18. Bye-bye. So there's no excuse. None. If an 18-year-old, he's 26 now, can get that far on his own, <laughs> so can a grown man or woman. So that's what I have for you. Um, I don't feel the need to pull, pull any more cards. Um, I think that you're getting through some stuff right now. The opportunity is still here. The gifts are here. I think that you are going to take them. You are going to take action. Um, you're going to do what you need to do. Um, this may or may not resonate with all of you. If it doesn't, then perhaps, you know, you check your moon sign or your rising sign. Do keep in mind this is for a big ton of people. So if it doesn't resonate with you, it just wasn't meant for you. It's going to resonate with plenty. Um, so God bless. Thank you for watching me, commenting, and subscribing, and um, all the bookings. I really appreciate that, and I will talk to you soon.